In this week's technology vidcast, Microsoft updates its Zune Music Player lineup, Nissan gets you into a tight spot with a futuristic concept car, and Intel showcases a digital home. Microsoft is releasing a new line of Zune Media Players to meet the challenge from its rival Apple. In addition to the original 30 gig version, Microsoft has unveiled a black 80 gig hard disk drive base Zune and a colorful line of smaller Zunes that use either 4 gigs or 8 gigs of flash memory. A key feature of the Zune has been its wireless connectivity. Previously, users sharing music were limited to just 3 plays within a 3 day time limit. That time limit is now gone, but you're still limited to just 3 plays per song. Also, users can now dock their Zune wirelessly to receive updated content. Another key product is a new website called Zoom Social. The site aims to connect users around musical tastes, allowing users to share their music preferences with friends. The new Zunes are due to hit stores next month, with the 80 gig version priced at about 250 US dollars, and the 8 and 4 gig flash versions priced at 200 and 150 US dollars. But while Wi-Fi is a cool feature that Apple has yet to adopt, it will take a lot more than wireless connectivity to reverse the iPod's formidable lead. If you flunked parallel parking on your driving test, the Nissan has the car for you. The Japanese car maker will unveil the Peebo 2 at the Tokyo Motor Show later this month, and it's just the thing to get you into a tight spot. The Peebo 2 has wheels that rotate 90 degrees. Just position the Peebo next to your parking spot. The wheels rotate, and then you're in. There's no reversing necessary. Another key feature is a friendly onboard robot that can help you out with things like directions. The robot's bright eyes can even detect a driver's expression, determining whether they are angry or happy. At the moment, the Pivo 2 is in the concept stage, although Nissan has built a fully working model. The quirky and futuristic car seats three comfortably and runs on advanced compact lithium-ion batteries, which last 125 kilometers on a single charge. American Gentleman's Magazine Esquire has designed a multi-million dollar high-tech bachelor pad with the help of U.S. technology giant Intel. The 5,700 square foot flat sits north of Central Park and is designed as a showcase for the digital home and digital entertainment. No bachelor pad is complete without its own game room. These dual systems feature large plasma displays and run games from Intel quad-core chips on a Dell desktop PC. Movies, music, and other entertainment are dished out across the home from these media servers, which sit quite nicely in a small closet. This allows you to enjoy entertainment in every room, be it the living room, study, kitchen, or even your bathroom. Or perhaps you would rather surf the web while enjoying a stunning view of Central Park. Or maybe enjoy a few tunes on an ultra-mobile personal computer made by Samsung. Enjoying all this technology doesn't come cheap. These speakers alone are worth 150,000 US dollars, and there are only 100 pairs in existence in the world. Altogether, this flat is said to be worth more than 10 million US dollars. That's all for this week. This has been Michael Logan.